My name is Alex Hackle and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Their video last year was no slouch. The production quality was super high. You mix in a really high quality filmer with their core values of this contest and it's kind of an unbeatable combination. You know, you might be thinking, you know, primetime ABC, right? You guys just make television. Well, you know what? Television makes us. And today, we're going to be making a motor. And then when you, like, fix everything, you just put this thing back, and then you just go, yeah, I'm ready to drop. Okay, drop it in three, two, one. Hackle's mechanic skills, they're just not quite there yet. <laughs> I can't really tell you I know how to work these things. And I can't tell you that I know how to replace anything on this. It's really humbling when you get a real ski because it's such an honor and it's such a personal honor. Uh, all the pressure is on you. Uh, you're the only one that can do the skiing for this project. You would think that when you have sort of the most personal pressure that it would be yourself that would be able to get you through it and then you realize that it's really the crew around you and that even though you have a very selfish goal that you rely so much on everybody around you the whole time and that the sacrifices that they make for you are so important and that you yourself feel kind of helpless and you really start to see uh, sort of the power in the group and why the group is so important. I'm not an unhealthy guy. Some people call me Let's a... Let's go! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's go! There was a whole lot of convincing going on this year to get me back into it. Uh, I've done it once as a skier and once as a filmer before and it's a whole lot of work. Like People watching this doesn't even know half of it. It's like so much work and when there's an X Games medal on the line you're definitely going to push yourself to the absolute edge of what you're capable of. You know, Paven has such a unique film style because he's such a good skier himself and that you know this year we really wanted to make it not just about the skiing but you know it's filmmaking and it's about feeling and emotions and we sort of wanted to you know put the filming on a higher pedestal and value it at a higher rate than we did last year. We chose a spot for a certain type of follow cam. It took us four days to get the shot. Sometimes getting clipped in the street is a marathon doing 26 miles of hard work and you can only blame yourself when you're in a marathon. We're just uh, working out this timing here. You know, we're ready to snap. We're just making sure everything looks good. And it was a trick that Hackle probably could have done in one day or two days. But the filming was so hard that a lot of the times when Hackle got the trick, I messed up the filming because it was like on the edge of what we could do and still make it look good. Some things require talent, some things require vision, and some things require talent and vision. This requires talent, vision, and a good drive. Feel that pressure? I feel you it. Feel my hand right there. Woohoo! This is me giving you everything I have for you to succeed in this mission here. It practically took just two days of figuring out, and then we got kind of got the shot, and then. We were like, ah, oh, that trick doesn't really cut it. But we can't do a, like, hack can't do an easy trick because then it doesn't fit in the video. It took a lot of time and a lot of tries. It was tough, but it paid off, I think. See you on the other side. Our goal this year is for sure to make something a little bit surprising or like have elements that you might not be used to seeing in this competition. Like filming wise for sure and try to figure out ways to incorporate what I'm doing into the skiing more. Yeah. Woo! I know Hackle is always pushing his skiing so we both knew I think that the skiing was going to be a step over what it was last year and then it was just a matter of what are we going to do that is not skiing that is going to bring the video forward. So much stuff is possible on skis. Like you can do so much more than you can even think and it really is limitless and in 10 years people are going to be doing things on skis that I can't even think about. You know the biggest thing between that moment and now, 10 years from now skiing and now is sort of our outworks towards what's possible and so I would say that why it's so difficult or why it can be difficult to get a shot your problems because 
it's mental. It's in your head. You know that's physically possible. What's up, ESPN? You want to get you want to get paid? You want to look this gorgeous? You got to take some hits. <laughs> My name is Alex Hackle, and this is my real ski video. They're doing a toe-in follow cam from behind a car and the camera pulls forward to hackle as he lets go of the car and the car is gone. And the camera guy, we think he was in the car, but now they're coming through this tight little gap and disastering onto a double kink and where'd the car go? Like right off the bat, you're like, mind is blown. Seeing this video does make you realize how important the filmer is to showcasing the skiing and that athlete's abilities in the right light on his dub flat seven. I didn't love that you couldn't see the beginning of that trip. It made me kind of wonder what was behind and why that was a choice. Because everything, I, I know how the bunch films is everything's very deliberate. It just makes me wonder why they filmed it that way. Because it was a very, to me, felt incomplete shot. Welcome back to World of X Games Real Ski. And if you're just tuning in, here's a quick recap. After hours of intense debate, the judges have made their decision. A big congratulations to all the contestants on amazing video parts. I'm your host, Tom Wallace, and thanks for watching X Games Real Speed.